at you. Yesterday we were so excited to tell you about the health benefits of chocolate and how you can actually drop pounds by eating chocolate. Here to tell us all about it this morning is uh, Rita Shotko with Shosai Healthy Chocolate. Did I get that you right? You got that absolutely okay. right. Now to the good news. This is this is wonderful. I mean, chocolates everywhere are rejoicing. Absolutely, absolutely. Finally, it's come back of age. You know, the cocoa bean created by our creator God yeah. made this thing. It's a superfood, uh -huh. and um, it's it's grown in the Ivory Coast. Um, but unfortunately, you know, 3,500 years ago, the Mayans used it as medicine. But in the 1900s, the Europeans and the American eye and basically bastardized it and turned it into something it's not. They turned it into candy. A sweet. So what we're talking about here is really not candy. We're talking about a medicinal superfood, a nutraceutical. And your company has done research on this for 12 years now. Absolutely. And what have you come up with? This is also teaming up with a, um, a new study out of UC San Diego that found the same thing. Right. And what Dr. Gold was talking about was the polyphenols the epicatechins, which they're finding in properly processed cacao, mm -hmm. so medicinally used chocolate, is one of the strongest superfoods. It is the most highest in antioxidants and the number one anti-inflammatory. So there's about five reasons why a product such as this kicks in and aids with weight loss and keeping weight off. Well, give us those five so we can absolutely, start eating. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And you got to eat it three times a day and keep it in your bloodstream. Really? Okay. So one of them is it naturally has an appetite suppressant in it. I didn't know Go that. Go figure. Yeah, yeah, right? Okay. And appetite suppressant. The other thing, it, it retains a lot of dietary soluble fiber. That's the fiber that attacks our belly fat. Mm -hmm. The other thing is it retrains our glycemic digestive tract. So when you go to eat your meal, you're not getting that insulin spike, which tends to hoard fat. Okay. The other thing is it deals with cravings. Yeah. Yes, we all which have are those, awful. don't we? I was a salty, crunchy craver. Yes. I don't crave that anymore because when your body's in balance, you don't crave. And the last factor is it raises the serotonin level and it opens the dopamine pathways in our brain. Well, that's our mood elevator. That's our happy drug. Great. So we feel like exercising. Right. We feel like not going and eating that snacky food that going to make us it's feel better for five minutes. It's bad for you right, right now. So is this only dark chocolate? I know in the past we've heard dark chocolate's great for you, yeah. not milk chocolate. Yeah, and what we're talking about here is not the dark chocolate that you buy in the store, not yeah. the candy, not confectionery. Because uh -huh. there's a lot of candy bars out there that say, oh, 60, 70, 80 percent pure cacao. Mm -hmm. They're not lying. That's what's in there. The problem is it doesn't have any of the good left in it. Okay. It's been cooked at very high temperatures. It then goes through a process called dutching. And dutching alkalizes and full, fully neutralizes that cocoa bean and takes away all the polyphenols, the epicatechins that were talked about in that UCSD study. So essentially, you can have chocolate three times a day. Right. It just has to be the right kind of chocolate. Exactly. You and got it. you look for the kind that says 100% pure cacao? No, no. What you're looking for is something that has been certified by the USDA. Okay. There's a test called the ORAC test that measures the amount of antioxidants in foods and supplements. So you really want that certification because that, therefore, it's retained all the good and doesn't have any of the bad. The product is also caffeine-free. See, people think caffeine is natural in the cocoa bean. Mm -hmm. It is not. not. That's the addictive quality of candy. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Well, you've just brought us some great news. I know. And now it's time to eat up. Absolutely. And, and like you need idea. to try. You need to try some of this. Put a little, wa a few in your purse, or keep them by close yes. by your desk. Yes. Absolutely. So, so you try this, some. just okay. like that. Okay. And I'll hold what up. Flavor what flavor is this? Um, that is is our deepest, darkest chocolate, but mm. it's just been whipped up a little bit more, That's so it good. has it has a lightest consistency. So somebody that maybe was a milk chocolate lover Ooh. that really doesn't like dark chocolate. Yeah. This is a really good for one for them. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're going to keep some of those. Rita, thank you so much you, for stopping welcome. by this morning. Thank you for having me. Bring more good news to us. Okay. Okay. We'll